the Obama administration wants to give the Federal Reserve even more power to oversee financial institutions that could be deemed too big to fail. But Republican Congressman Ron Paul of Texas wants more oversight of the Fed itself. Paul is a longtime critic of the Fed, but this time he has 250 members of Congress backing his bill that would give the Government Accountability Office the ability to audit the Fed, including monetary policy. Congressman Paul, thanks for joining us. Yeah, good to be with you. Uh, Chairman Bernanke has uh, said that your bill could revoke the independence of the Fed. Is that your in intention here? <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Why should they be independent? Independent to them means secrecy, do whatever they want, spend trillions of dollars, bail out their friends, make deals with international bankers, with other central banks and other governments. Uh, no, they, don't, they shouldn't have a right to do that. We, need, we, have, we have an obligation as members of Congress to protect the people and to protect the value of the money. So to do that, you have to know what the Fed is doing. And the Fed watchers say that independents, uh, they want to be able to raise interest rates when it's uh, politically unpopular. I guess you, you think that uh, that's yeah, not... Yeah, but, but they also might want to lower interest rates when it's very popular for political reasons. This idea of independence is a facade because others have done some investigation and traced the willingness of Federal Reserve Board chairmen to talk to and work with the presidents, you know, when they weren't reappointed. So there's a lot of political shenanigans going on with the Fed already. So this idea that they want independence is, uh, is not so. Uh, my, matter of fact, my bill really doesn't address that subject as much as, because it doesn't tell the Fed what to do. It just means that we have an obligation to know what they're doing, what kind of money they're spending, and who's getting the benefit. Uh, the chairman has also said that gr giving Congress greater oversight of the Fed would risk the stability of the dollar. Where, uh, are you worried about that at all? Yeah, I'm very worried about it, and that's one of the reasons we need the, the audit, is to find out what they're doing. Because but he says that uh, oversight of the Fed itself would risk the stability of the dollar. Well, I don't believe that. I think it would be the opposite. I think the fact that they can double the money supply like they did in the last year, that is a horrendous amount of inflation. If you double the money supply, that means that eventually you'll have less money. The dollar now is worth four cents of what it was worth in 1913 when the Fed was, was established. So that tells you they're not very good at protecting the value of the money. So that's the obligation. They should protect the value of the money, not to be the counterfeiters. They're the counterfeiters of the world, and they're protected by this secrecy. You've gotten a lot of support, 250 members of Congress. How about the Speaker? Has she promised you that she'd bring it to a vote? No, I haven't personally talked uh, to her about that. Uh, we, we do have some uh, chairmen board. Uh, who, do, who do you have uh, on Louise board? Louise Slaughter is on, as well as John Conyers, and we have 80 Democrats. And uh, How about Chairman Frank? What does he think? He's not hostile to it, but it, it just wouldn't be the, uh, the thing that chairmen do of uh, the banking committee, uh, especially if, uh, if Nancy Pelosi doesn't want it. So how do you hope to get it passed? Well, it's going to be difficult because I know that how, how powerful those who believe in the Federal Reserve System are. And we saw that in the Senate this week when DeMint tried to put it onto a bill, and they say, oh, no, you're not allowed to, um, uh, you know, amend an, uh, an appropriation bill. So technically they said you can't do it, even though he pointed out, well, you do it all the time. But that means that they're lining up their ducks. They're going to fight us tooth and nail. But the American people want more transparency. That's why we have the people on our side. Another hot topic for regulation is the Commodities Futures Trade, uh, Trading Commission. This week they have a proposal to impose new trade restrictions on speculative trading in the energy markets. A lot of business community uh, and some consumers say that this may go too far. Do you agree with that? Do you, have you tried to well, it's too far when they first started. I don't believe in that kind of regulations. Uh, we, we didn't have a depression because we didn't have enough regulation. But they said we didn't have, and that's when the SEC and these other organizations came in. So when um, Enron failed, they said we didn't have enough regulations, but then they had, uh, uh, they, they passed Sarbanes-Oxley. And they go on and on, and it always needs more regulations because they fail to see what causes the problem. The problem comes from the mischief at the Fed because they create artificially low interest rates which create the atmosphere of a bubble and all the malinvestment and bad debt. So you can't, you can't compensate by more regulations. What you want is the market to regulate this. You want people to go bankrupt. You want a correction. They don't allow corrections. We need a housing correction. We need the prices to go down. We need less houses being built. We need the markets to be cleared. But no, if we have to keep building houses and keep the prices up and do all this thing, they're central economic planners for monetary policy. It's the worst way in the world. Congressman, 